Uh, we will actually seek his support to do that. Uh, but if he challenges that, if he refuses to support that, then we will seek the support of the government uh, and the crossbench to uh, ensure that he is suspended from the Legislative Council. What that means is that when the Legislative Council uh, resumes uh, during that first week of August, uh, Mr Mosselman will not be a member of the Labor Party and Mr Mosselman will not be allowed to enter the Legislative Council chamber. He also will not sit on any parliamentary committees. Now, this is a decision I don't take uh, lightly. Uh, it is a mechanism that is rarely used within the parliament. In fact, I believe that it uh, was last used in the 1960s and perhaps the 1990s, although I'd have to get those details confirmed for you. Um, I make the decision I do today based on information I have at this particular point in time. Uh, however, I reserve the right as leader to make decisions in an ongoing way uh, as this investigation proceeds. Uh, so the decision I've made to suspend his membership of the party and the decision I've made uh, to uh, support a motion uh, or put forward a motion to the Legislative Council, uh, both those decisions are made based on the information I have at this particular time. And I reserve my right as leader uh, to make uh, other decisions as required. Um, I need the people of New South Wales to know that as leader of the Labor Party, we will always fiercely protect the independence and the integrity of the New South Wales Parliament. And we will take whatever decision is needed to be able to do that. Uh, I will also say, and I note Dominic Perrottet uh, mentioned this yesterday, uh, that there have been, at this particular point, no charges laid against Mr Mosselman. So again, I say I reserve uh, my right as leader to make decisions as information is presented to me. But the decision that we have made today as a leadership team uh, is one that has been discussed over the last two days. Uh, we have worked through the mechanism of this. As I said, it's a, it's a, rare, uh, um, a rare mechanism in the uh, Legislative Council and the Legislative Assembly. But we work through it uh, with the clerk of the Legislative Council to understand the practicalities of it. Um, and uh, so that's the announcement I make today that uh, he will be suspended from the party, which has already happened, and we will seek a motion to have him suspended from the Parliament. Does this mean, sorry, does this mean you'll support the government's motion or will you ask them not to proceed with that to do your own? I believe that this is a decision... Uh, let me say this. This is a Labor issue and it needs to be the Labor Party that fixes this issue. Um, I would hope that uh, issues of national security are above partisan politics. So it's an issue that we've been discussing for the last couple of days as we work through the mechanics of it, the practicalities of it. Um, but uh, I will, if uh, Shaket Mosselman doesn't support the motion, um, we will seek the crossbench and the government's support to do it. But this is an issue I need to fix as leader. What's Have you changed since Friday? What's the change? What information do you have now that you didn't have that would have prevented you announcing this? No, not at all. I mean, this has been a process for me of understanding um, the parameters of this investigation. Um, as you know, I, was, uh, I, I have been very honest in saying I was briefed by the agencies on Friday, um, and I will take whatever uh, decisions I need to take to ensure the integrity and the independence of the parliament. But there will be other decisions I may or may not need to take, and I reserve the right to do that. Look, um, resigning from Parliament is, uh, is, uh, is up to him at this particular point. Um, only Mr Mosselman uh, knows the extent of this investigation. Uh, and I would hope that as the investigation proceeds, that is something that is uh, being actively considered by him. Um, however, the decision I make today is based on the information I have at this particular time. Are you frustrated? Are you Well, as uh, the Treasurer pointed out yesterday, it's really important to note that he has not been charged. Uh, and so the decision I make today is based on the information that I have. But even if he has, isn't charged, hasn't he caused the Labor Party a lot of embarrassment through his pro-China views? Um, some other senior members of Labor have said in the past he's an embarrassment to the party, even before these days. 
Well, look, as I, as I said, the decision that um, I made previously uh, when he made comments, uh, that was very clear that I didn't support the comments that he made and I found them to be quite shocking. Um, he uh, ended up uh, standing aside. It was, was uh, the right thing to do as the Assistant Vice President of, of the uh, Upper House. Um, he made that decision. It was the right decision for him to make. As information comes to me, I will act on that information and that's what I'm doing today. A message, no I haven't and it would be inappropriate for me to do so, but a message has been delivered to him this morning uh, indicating that um, he, uh, we will seek to uh, bring this motion on and obviously it would be in his best interest not to challenge that. Uh, but if he does, then we will need the support of the government and we will need the support of the crossbench. Do you think that your, that your party is behind you or do you think that, that has, does have supporters within your Labor Party? Uh, look, um, to be honest, that's not my concern right now. Um, you know, this is a very serious investigation. It's a very serious issue. It involves uh, the two most significant agencies in this country. Um, so the decision that I make as leader on any given day, based on the information I have, is a decision that I will make. Um, this morning, I sought the support of the uh, senior shadows. Uh, we worked through the issue based on discussions that had been had over the weekend with the clerk of the Legislative Council. So the decision that I asked them to support was this one. They supported it wholeheartedly. Uh, and I stand by this decision. Um, but I will say that I reserve the right as this investigation uh, progresses, as new information comes to light, uh, and depending on action that may or may not be taken, I reserve the right to uh, make decisions accordingly. Do you think he's doing a lot of damage to the Labor Party here? Yes, no charge has been made, but you have even, uh, last two weeks ago, you know, you had one of your MPs stand, stand down or, or, you know, react to, to situations, you know, it's not as if the charge needs to be laid for, for an MP to not do damage to the party and, and take action themselves. So what's the question? The question is, Oh, look, I think that any issue like this is of concern. I think the community needs to know first and foremost that as a Labor Party um, and as leader of the Labor Party that we will take the action that's required. Um, you know, it, it is uh, entirely my responsibility. Uh, and when I was elected leader, I was elected based on the fact that we as a Labor Party need to do better. Um, and I have always said that I will take the decisions that need to be taken based on uh, what presents itself. Uh, in this case, this is a very serious issue, one of national security. Uh, those search war warrants were executed under the espionage and uh, foreign interference legislation, the first time that has happened. Do not underestimate the significance of this issue or how much weight I give this issue. So the decisions that I make will be based on the information that is available to me at any given time. Just a process question. I guess the suspension motion, you'll need to put that to caucus to sign on it. Is that right? Uh, no, the decision on that uh, has been made by the senior shadows this morning and the decision has been made. So you don't need to put it to caucus? I will not be putting it to caucus. It's a decision that I've made. The senior shadows have supported it uh, and that will be uh, the course of action that we take. And what about the other individuals? So, yeah, so the advice that I've received from the General Secretary is that there is no John Zhang that is a member of the Labour Party. Is he still on the payroll? Still on? Um, I have no idea. Um, I, I, I can't answer that question. I mean, obviously, uh, I don't even know how he's employed. I mean, I, I presume he's employed by the Parliament, but that would be a matter for the Parliament. There's been previous discussion about Mr Mokelman working to um, change various elements of Labour's international relations policy. Do you, uh, do you have any information about whether he's done the same thing? Like no, look, I, I am not going to make any comment in regard to the, um, you know, the uh, content of, of this investigation. I've said all I'm going to say. I just think that this is such a serious uh, investigation that um, political commentary is very unhelpful, as is political speculation. So, um, as I said, I'm comfortable with the decision that I'm making today and I make that based on the information that I have and I won't be making any further comment uh, in regard to this investigation. It needs to run its course. Is he a loss to your team? Is he? A loss to your team. In what way? In a way you're, you're losing one of your MPs. Ah, uh, well, obviously... 
Well, um, what I will say is that, as you know, Ash, the numbers in the upper house are finally balanced. So uh, if uh, he is no longer a Labor MP uh, and he is suspended from the Legislative uh, Council, then that will impact in some way what occurs uh, in that uh, important house. Um, you know, it, it may, and I, I don't know this for sure, it may disrupt the, uh, the transparency that we've been able to achieve in regard to uh, government documents with the SO52s. It, it may, uh, obviously, it could disrupt the legislative agenda that we have, but uh, it doesn't matter the cost uh, to us. Uh, what matters is that uh, people are confident that as leader I'm taking the decisions to fiercely protect the independence and the integrity of the New South Wales Parliament. That's the decision I've made today.